What's up guys? Today we are going to be doing a review on the New Balance More Trail Shoe and I cannot be more excited to uh, do another review, shoe review. It has been a very long time and uh, we got a kind of a little bit of a different view today. Um, I kind of like moved around my room, kind of like retooled my room. Um, so this is just kind of the new view that you guys have to get used to because, you know, it could, it, it's not really the best, but you know, uh, hopefully there's not too much glare from the sun over here. I wish I had like the perfect lighting, which I don't, but it's whatever. So let's just get right into it. The New Balance More Trail Shoe. Um, I've done, I've done a review on the New Balance More Running Shoe, um, the More V4. Uh, I did that about like eight months ago, to, I don't know to be exact, and to be honest, that was literally w like, I think I said in the review, I was like, this has got to be like one of my favorite running shoes of all time, because I got into running like only like a couple of years ago, and I really, really, really love that shoe, and just because I feel like it was super cushiony, but... Overall, it really like hugged my foot really well and the more trail kind of does the exact same thing. Hugs my hugs my foot very well. Um, kind of uh, this part right here, the um, with the toe box, it it hugs my foot very well and I don't really have a wide foot. It just really like locks you down. Um, the tongue right here, says New Balance More. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of dark. It says the New Balance More. Really locks you down with these laces. I'm having no issues with the laces either. Um, usually, you know, sometimes with shoes, you know, with the very thin laces, things like that, you'll have like issues with like the lockdown fit. You, sometimes you'll have issues with like the, to the tongue. Wasn't having issues with that. And it really you kind of get a little worried when it's the more trail or, you know, any other trail running shoe that literally came exactly almost like almost exactly from that other shoe. Um, I didn't want them to just like throw on, you know, like the, the, uh, the lugs for the trail and they really did a lot more than just throw it on. So that's why like before I had even like got them. I was a little worried that they like, oh, just like threw on the trail um, lugs, but no, much more than that. Um, you know, it's got the toe protection right here all throughout, and it really does help, to be honest with you. And this has got to be, just on another side note, one of the best looking trail running shoes and shoes in general. Um, with just like the overall, like the New Balance riding across the shoe, kind of the two-tone outsole, like, uh, or no, midsole. And this is just, this is one of the best looking running shoes right now. So it's got that engineered mesh upper, like I was saying before, the engineered mesh upper, you know, to really lock down your foot. Um, this is literally the perfect comfort trail running shoe on the market i mean i haven't done a review on other trail running shoes but i've heard from other people that these are the ones and they did not disappoint um i really think that the fresh foam x midsole uh really kind of gives you that plush ride on the trail kind of dabbled into trail running and uh, it, it really helps. I have I mean, I haven't tried other trail running shoes. I don't know if you want to count the Solomon XT6 ADV as a trail running shoe, but that's really the only other trail shoe that I have. Oh, and the Nike Pegasus trail, but I didn't really run in those. I just kind of just like walk around in those. So this is really truly like my only trail running shoe that I've ever owned for the trails. And to be honest, this has got to be the best one that I've had. And, um, you know, so it's got that Fresh Foam X like I was talking about. And then the stack height is 36 millimeters, 40 in the heel. 
So this is, you know, a big, big, big shoe, but when you put it on, it it feels amazing. Just take my word for it. You, you won't be disappointed. Um, your foot sits right in the shoe, like I was saying earlier. And, you know, the base, if you were to look at it, um, if you were just like look down at your feet, the base is pretty wide. So when you're landing on the ground, your toes kind of like spread out a little bit, but they don't like spread out on the sides and like, um, you know, come off the shoe. It, it's a really nice landing in these shoes. Um, you kind of got the, this like weird type of like silicone material in the back. I don't know. It kind of looks like gravel. Um, but it's just like this like weird material in the back, which is like super cool, super cool. And then it says all terrain right there. Gosh, this shoe is, this shoe is so sick. And so for the outsole, it's the Vibram. They put the Vibram lugs on there. And to be honest, it, it there isn't anything right here, which I was a little worried about. Um, so I'll have to see like how that lasts, like this part without anything. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really feel a difference, but I know that some people were talking about how like they wish that there was like some type of lug in between here. So I will, you know, figure out if I like that in the future um, as I wear these more on the trails. But they fit true to size. I got a size 13. Uh, I recommend true to size um, in these shoes. Like I said, they truly fit perfectly. There's no like sizing issues like I had with Hoka's. Um, that's kind of why I've stuck with New Balance over the years, just on a side note, is... Um, I kind of think that their sizing is very easy to understand and Hoka for some reason, like the new Mach 5 differs a lot from the Mach 4 and I was having a lot of sizing issues because I was, I, I was talking about it in my Mach 5 video and I was having tons of issues, but um, with this, it's just true to size, go with your true size. Yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to make a short, you know, little video just of the key points here. Didn't want to keep a lot of your time. Um, but yeah, guys, this has got to be, you know, one of the sexiest running shoes, trail running shoes on the market right now. Um, you know, I was lucky enough that my local Fleet Feet had them. And I'm definitely going to be dabbling into trail running uh, this summer. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And... Um, yeah, guys. Uh, other than that, I mean, the only other thing that I haven't covered so far is maybe the insole. I don't know if you can really see it. But it basically says, Revel in the Ma Magnificent Outdoors. <laughs> but I thought that was a little, like, cool touch. But yeah, guys, my favorite trail running shoe thus far and I'm a little late on this review because I just copped them but they're super sick and I know y'all will not be disappointed and hopefully you guys can go pick them up and tell me how they are in the comment section uh let me know if also you know you have a differing opinion than me uh let me know like what shoe you love as well because I know a lot of people love the Hoka um speed mafate something like that i don't know um you know there's a lot of other shoes from other brands so just let me know and uh i'll be happy to you know respond to you guys but uh thank you so much and um i'll talk to y'all soon peace guys